Joyful news from Buckingham Palace. The birth of His Royal Highness the Baby Prince. The news had been eagerly awaited by all Her Majesty's people. It is cause for great rejoicing throughout realm and commonwealth. Honouring the first child born to a British reigning sovereign for over a hundred years, a royal salute is fired in Hyde Park. And all the flags are flying in honour of the baby prince. This is the appropriate time to look back across the years to 1947, when the Queen, then Princess Elizabeth, was betrothed to Lieutenant Philip Mountbatten. Their wedding in the autumn of that year was in Westminster Abbey. Newsreel pictures tell the story of the historic event and the years of happiness that followed. The honeymoon was spent in the quiet beauty of Broadlands, Lord Mountbatten's country home. In November 1948, Prince Charles was born at Buckingham Palace. Only a few months old, His Royal Highness, first in line of succession to the throne, makes his debut before the cameras. His father's delight in his young son is plain to see. And for Princess Elizabeth, these were unforgettable days. I expect you remember these very charming pictures of the family scene at Windlesham. Bless you. Bless you. Prince Charles, I imagine, can hardly believe he once looked like this. He's over 11 now. In 1950, Princess Anne was born at Clarence House, when her brother was almost two years old. Always on the go at such an age, no matter what the occasion. And what a wonderful occasion it was for every member of the family. A sister for Prince Charles, a baby princess to add to the joy of her parents. Holiday time at Balmoral offers a glimpse of the children's progress. Growing up fast, that goes without saying. A rare glimpse of the family at home, free from royal engagements. A happy, united family, that's obvious. The children's recent visit to the circus with emphasis on fun, notably on the dodgems. While the Prince of Wales was held up in a traffic jam, his sister went whizzing round and round. the other day we saw them at Lady Pamela's wedding. The prince now looking quite grown up and Princess Anne a bridesmaid for the first time. It's fun drinking a toast to your sister. Splendid pictures to look back on aren't they? And there are pictures to look forward to as well. Pictures of the fifth member of our very happy and devoted royal family.